Sunday, your first opportunity to see this team in action in, in a minute? Yeah, good health and great energy. I think those are the two most important things on Sunday. Um, you know, uh, execution, we, we hope to be uh, pretty good at, you know, on our execution, but that'll be a work in progress early with a lot of new kids. How are you feeling right now about the point guard position losing a couple of primary ball handles last year to replace them through the portal? And Chance obviously has some history there, but yeah. how about that? Yeah, well, point guard's going to be new to us. I mean, Chance uh, hasn't ever really run the point, and uh, she's going to have to a little bit this year, but Peyton Scott's come in and done an awesome job. I think she's... Uh, even though she's a scoring guard, she really handles the point. She understands the game as a fifth-year senior. And same with Kennedy Williams. So I think we're actually going to be pretty good at the point. That'll be, I think, one of our strengths. So, you know, it remains to be seen if that's good enough. We'll, we'll see. Basketball is obviously a universal language, but you got so many new pieces this year. How is yeah. the chemistry coming along with this team so far? Well, the chemistry uh, off the court's been great. We have really good kids, they're hard workers. We don't really have any prima donna types. I think everybody's in it for the right reasons. Um, you know, on the court, it's still kind of a, a work in progress. You know, we've asked Philly to, to step up and have a more prominent offensive role instead of just being a defender rebounder. And, and uh, you know, so we're trying to get it inside a little bit more and that poses some problems. Sometimes we turn it over Grace is kind of transitioning more to the three spot. So she's playing more on the perimeter and she's actually very, very good in the pick and roll. Uh, I've been uh, pleasantly surprised with that. So uh, other than that, like I said, two of our transfers are fifth year kids. Uh, you know, they've seen everything. They've been around the block. They've both been four year starters. So I think, you know, uh, we'll be fine there. And then you know, the other newcomers are figuring it out. You know, Philippa Tiliander from Sweden is sneaky solid. He's a nice pickup. We picked her up late and, uh, you know, has been playing pro ball with pros. And so she has a higher level of uh, experience than most freshmen. So I really like what I see so far with everybody. In your experience like this, how long do you think it'll take that chemistry to gel on the floor? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's always different. You saw Philly was on the, on the side today, so she wasn't in practice. We've had a few kids kind of banged up and are limited. So, you know, until everybody's full speed, it, it'll take some time. What's the status of Priscilla's waiver? Don't know. Yeah, it's in the hands of the NCAA. So we hope that she, uh, you know, hopefully they, they grant her that way. Or she's a really good player. She's got great length to shoot the three. She talks. You know, a uh, really good defender. So, you know, she'd be a, a huge addition. You think Bella will be able to go on Sunday? I sure hope so. <laughs> you know, I sure hope so. She uh, probably can't tell you how she got hurt, but, uh, yeah, she, she hasn't practiced yesterday or today, and, and she's in concussion protocol, so we'll see. You never know how those things go. Talk about Grace playing the three and obviously handling well in the pick and roll, but outside shooting wise, how is she there in that area? She's getting better. She's getting better. You know, it just comes with confidence and repetition, but she is not hesitating. Uh, she's looking for the three and, uh, and is shooting it fairly well. So, um, you know, her game's just going to continue to improve, and this is one of the areas she's just got to get better, but she's still great in transition. She's uh, a great attack in the basket. She's playing with a lot more confidence this year. You can already tell. What would you say she's most improved in this offseason? Well, I think just confidence and not, uh, you know, in the past, she would, like, get into the paint and hesitate and not know what to do. Well, now she knows what to do. She's getting in the paint and trying to score and uh, not hesitating on her shot at all. So that's, that's a, because we've also challenged her. I think she's got to produce for this team. I think her and Chance in particular have got to produce and a lot's going to fall on their shoulders. What's They're sort of, up for it. What's sort of the biggest challenge you think this team will face early on in the season once it gets started? Uh, well, right now, health. You know, we got to get everybody healthy. I think that's uh, the first thing. I think, secondly, just uh, slowing down. You know, we, we play too fast right now. Um, you know, we're not going to be the most athletic team, so we're going to really have to pay attention to all the details. So, you know, that's been a work in progress up till now, just the small things. Uh, we're just not going to go out and roll the balls out and overwhelm people with talent and size and everything else. So, you know, that's, it, it's going to be fun, though. I think we have a chance and a good group to really coach and get better. I think we're going to continue to get better and better throughout the season. Does some of that 
require a little bit of buy-in telling in the sense of slowing down like back to Pac-12 media day and you talked about that about being maybe a little bit more deliberate and it sounded like chance didn't quite get the message about that. <laughs> well no i think she, well, she's so good in transition so is sophia so is peyton so is grace but after that you know you know we want to include philly more so you know she's so at times we're going to have to slow down, but we'll be an opportunity break team. Um, you guys know me. I mean, we've been offensive minded from the day we got here. So, um, so yeah, and Chance is so elite in transition and such a good athlete and so quick. If we get the easy ones, we'll take it. And we're not going to walk it up. No, we won't walk it up. Sabrina still going to do the consultant thing this year? Or? Uh, Sabrina right now is going in about a million different directions <laughs> because she's so damn popular and so busy. Uh, yes, she is still part of our crew. So uh, hopefully she and she wants to be more visible this year. Uh, we talked the other day, uh, you know, she's going to be here this weekend for her camp uh, down at Kids Sports on Sunday. And then we'll be at the game on uh, on Sunday afternoon. So uh, and then she she told me she wants to make more games this year. But. You say that, and you've got all these sponsors and everybody pulling and tugging her, and it, that's, that can be difficult. She's in a different world, you guys. Yeah. 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 What, are, what are kind of your initial impressions of Southern Oregon and Carlotta? I think she's in her third year. She's pretty relatable to players. She's younger. Yeah. Just kind of what are your impressions of them and her? Yeah, well, she does a great job. I, I saw them a lot because I would go down early uh, to, to watch my son will play and they always played double headers. So I saw the women's team a lot and they defend really well. They put pressure on the ball. Uh, you know, she's going to have three or four kids that can really shoot lights out. Uh, one of them played for my other son at, uh, at lane and I know she can really shoot it. So yeah, I, they, I, I loved watching them play. That was part of the reason I got there early just so I could at least catch the second half of their games. So very disciplined. It'll be a good, it'll be a good test for us actually. I think this team has a chance to be better defensively maybe than you've been the last couple of years. And where does that upside maybe come from? Um, well, I think Grace is going to be better. I think Chance is getting better. She's an elite defender. Sophia Bell is a really good defender. She's, um, you know, classic 3 and D, uh, but she's a little bit more. I mean, she can handle the ball and create and stuff. But uh, I think I think her and Chance and Peyton in the backcourt, um, I think will be one of the better defensive uh, groups. From the from the guard line so and then we've got kind of two uh, basket protectors you know in kennedy and and philly philly grace and chance obviously being sort of the mainstay from a season ago mm -hmm. where have you seen them take on that leadership role with this new group yeah well you just said it they've taken on great leadership i think they're they're getting better at it that's hard to ask sophomores to do that but I, I i've seen you know peyton scott has really stepped up and become a Leader. She's very vocal. Damn, I wish she would have been here for a few years. But uh, yeah, she's been great. I mean, as you guys will find out, I think you're going to interview her right now, right? Where do things stand, Kelly, with the Big Ten process in terms of the scheduling? Because I was told that y'all were supposed to at least have drafts of schedules yeah. for next year by the end of this month. And there was a discussion about how many games and yeah. formats and all that. Like, but when you hear, oh. let me know. Oh. Because I haven't heard yet. They, there was a, an initial email. I think there's uh, we they want to get some input from everybody first. But as far as I know, they haven't made that decision yet. So where where do you stand? Do you hope it's at 18 and it's a 116 format? Do you want it to go to 20 like the men and do a 314 format? Do you, Is that how they're doing it? I'm asking. Oh, yes. I don't know. Whatever the, the group decides. Uh, you know me for, for a long time. I wanted a 22 game Pac-12 schedule and then at least a 20 game Pac-12 schedule now always got voted down. It was me, Tara and Corey and maybe one other. Everybody else voted against it. So I always like having uh, more conference games because it's hard in Eugene to get games. It just really is. So, but I'm assuming we'll, we'll play Oregon State each year uh, as a non-league game. I've already talked to Washington State and we've agreed to play next year as well so you know there's a couple games here or there it'll be here yeah. Yeah. And then now i don't know about the oregon state we haven't even talked about that yet i know he wants to do it we we'd like to continue so is that a one-year deal with cam here is that a multi-year thing or? For, well right now it's just one year yeah
And we should play Oregon State doubleheader in uh, in the Moda. Let's do that. That'd be kind of fun. And in the run of the Hunted House, was that kind of bittersweet, or what was the reasoning behind it? <laughs> two reasons. I'm getting too damn old. Now, three reasons. Sometimes the weather in Eugene doesn't cooperate, and so the hours spent setting it up, along with the number of kids that are actually coming through, sometimes isn't worth it. Number three, both my boys have their stuff in the garage right now, and uh, I got tired of paying 175 bucks a month for a storage unit. I shouldn't say that. I didn't get tired of it. My wife got tired of it. <laughs> so, uh, you know, we've given most of our stuff away. And so if somebody else can enjoy it, then it makes me happy. But I'll, I'll miss it. It was always a great way, you know, to uh, give back to the community a little bit, meet some new fans, have a little bit of fun. So, but all good things must come to an end.